ultimately the thing that's going to bind us all together is our capacity to love. It's official, Jamie Campbell and Jess Maloney are a couple and many fans think that this time are charming Stranger Things actors ready to settle down. The two have been spotted together on different occasions and recently it was reported that the lovebirds are thinking about getting married. What crazy news, stay till the end of this video to know all the details. The second when Jamie Campbell appeared in the fourth season of Stranger Things as the ultimate villain Vecna 001, fans fell in love with him. TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, and other social media is filled with posts and tweets of how good looking and the sex appeal that he has. Jamie Campbell is best known for his significant roles in the most popular movies including The Twilight Saga, The Mortal Instruments, City of Bones, and Fantastic Beasts The Crimes of Grindelwald. But when he appeared in the iconic TV series that is loved by Gen Z, he rose to fame even more. In this case, should we mention that fans always wanted to know what's going on in Jamie's love life? The actor has dated some really famous girls in the past, Bonnie Wright and Lily Collins, but which girl has won his heart for real? Let's dive into this topic deeply. If you're a big fan of Jamie Campbell, you probably know our boy is not single now. After his rocky relationship passed, it looks like our boy is ready to settle down with one of the luckiest girls in the world, Jess Maloney. Jess is a creative agent and the co-founder of Ice Studios, a creative community of artists. According to Page Six, they've been dating for about 18 months, but it's only recently that they decided to confirm their relationship status. The adorable couple appeared to together at the Stranger Things 4 premiere holding hands and fans were excited to see Jamie being super happy. Also, in July 2022, Jess posted a really cool black and white photo of her beau and the couple looked chic in their costumes. They attended the Saint Laurent fashion show in Morocco together. If you want some more sweet photos of the two, just take a look at how happy they are spending time together in a Malibu beach. The couple was caught kissing and cuddling and even having fun in the sand during a day of surfing. They also spent some time practicing a few yoga moves, and it was so cute when Jamie started helping his lady apply sunscreen to her face. The couple started dating somewhere in early 2021 and it's great to know that they are still going strong. The most recent thing that Jess posted was on her IG story in which she was cheering up Jamie as he was invited to Jimmy Fellows show. She turned the camera to Jamie, he blushed and said, it's me. As we've already mentioned, the couple is going stronger than ever, but is it true that they're ready to get married? We'll talk about it a bit later. And now let's go through some other girls that Jamie has dated in the past. Jamie has always been popular among girls and he knows that it's impossible to resist his charming accent, fun-loving nature, and of course his appearance. Girls he dated in the past said they instantly fell in love with him. And one of the girls who immediately fell under his spell was Ginny Weasley. Oops, Bonnie Wright. The two met on set for Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows, part one, and the chemistry between them was super strong. And shortly after they decided to start seeing each other. However, they kept it secret for a while and in 2010, the couple appeared together at the BAFTAs and revealed their relationship status. Yes, we're dating, Bonnie Wright told a reporter at the ceremony. We've been seeing each other for a few months, it's good. It's safe to say that Bonnie couldn't hide her feelings about it and in her interview with People Magazine, the actress opened up about their relationship. She said, it's not like we kept it a secret intentionally, but we didn't go around telling everyone either. She then explained how it began saying, we met at a party and we just really clicked straight away. Bonnie also said, he's a great guy and we just enjoy spending time together. It's nice because we both have the same interests, the same goals, and it's great to have someone to talk to about it all. He's really lovely, everything is going great. Of course, fans were happy to know new details, but in April 2011, Jamie shocked everyone even more when he revealed that he proposed to Bonnie. Speaking to The Daily, he said that he was very happy and that it was a wonderful time for them both. I'm taken at the time, I am extremely extremely delighted this is the most wonderful time ever," he told in one of the interviews. When Jamie was asked about their wedding plans, the actor didn't really have much to say, so he explained, "...we're planning but I won't say when and I won't say where or how." Congratulations. Do you have any wedding plans yet? We do, we do, but I shan't be discussing. <laughs> it's up to her probably, right? It, it is, it is. A source close to the couple revealed that everyone was shocked to know that the two decided to get engaged. We are all absolutely shocked and surprised and we can't believe that Jamie has asked Bonnie to marry him, the source then added. He said they are completely in love. It seems very whirlwind but they both say it's the real deal. All he has told us is that he asked her to marry him and Bonnie said yes. Sadly for everyone this union didn't last long and in 2012 the pair called it quits. One insider revealed that it was absolutely amateur 
amicable, but that things had not been right for quite some time. The next girlfriend Jamie started dating was co-star Lily Collins. They met on the set in the Mortal Instruments City of Bones in 2012, and they confirmed their relationship status almost straight away. Jamie and Lily's relationship were on and off for almost five years, and in 2013, they called it quits for the first time. Even though they broke up, a source told Us Weekly magazine that the two are still close to each other and remain friends. They've been really good about doing the press tour together for their movie, and they are able to stay friendly. A bit later the same year, Lily Collins had an interview with Glamour UK magazine and admitted that she understood why so many co-stars fell in love on set, saying, People are cast because they have chemistry. You're perfect for the role because you have a connection with each other, and sometimes that translates into more. For the fans, their breakup wasn't the final point, and they speculated that the couple would get back together soon. Well, they were right, as in May 2015, Lily took to IG and posted a photo of her with Jamie. Lily captioned the photo, Happy is what happy does. Fifty shades of blush. Hashtag cloud nine is pink, right? She later added, life works in mysterious ways, but when you find your inner glow is back and shining brighter, you know it's right. But as we said, it was the on and off type of relationship and the two broke up once again. In January 2018, they reconciled for the last time and broke up for good in July 2018. It looks like Jamie doesn't really like to stay single, and the same time in 2018, he jumped into a relationship with Ruby Quilter, a tattoo master who's based in New York City. The two made their red carpet debuts a couple in the London premiere of Jamie's movies, Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald, in November 2018. There wasn't too much information about their relationship as the couple tried to keep it private. The pair called it quits in 2020, and for some time, our man was single. Even though Jamie has previously dated a few really famous girls, it seems like he is the most comfortable with Jess, and he desperately is in love with her. It is difficult to say whether the couple is already planning their wedding, but fans are always ready to come up with new rumors and suggestions. Who knows, maybe they're right, and very soon we'll hear the news that Jamie's put a ring on that finger and Jess is the wifey now. Do you think Jess and Jamie are going to get married soon? Would you like to be the first one to know the news? Let us know in the comment section down below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos we've made, click one on the screen or take a look at the channel. See you in the next episode. Bye.